first time we prayed around the hospital was to pray for the Newsom family, who were members of the Stack family, who were in the hospital fighting for the life of their unborn baby girl, who was just 23 and a half weeks gestation. With just two days notice, enough people showed up on that Christmas Eve in 2012 that the entire perimeter of the hospital was covered by linked hands in prayer. Although the doctors thought if there was a remote chance that the, this baby girl could make it, she would be riddled with problems, including spinal bifida. That baby girl will be six years old in March and is doing amazingly well. What I really want you to know is how important and how serious and how holy this is. We are moving heaven and angels are joining us and God is moving. What an incredible responsibility we have. So much more goes on than meets the eye. Not only were the Newsom family affected by the prayer and so blessed, there are more stories that most people don't hear and that most of us will never see this side of heaven. Like the one about the patient on suicide watch who was visibly affected by the prayer one year and how the person watching that person will be forever impacted in amazing ways. Like last year, when an emergency was brought in right as we were gathering and ended up in emergent surgery and did well, they're recovered, they're doing great. Like the elderly in their last days and the families who are hurting, being blessed and encouraged by us gathering. Like the nurses and the doctors, and this one really gets me, who stand in the windows in their scrubs looking down at us and thanking us with waves and prayer hands of their own as we wrap up the prayer. So much more goes on than we know. For all the information you need, you can check out the PrayCatchacan.com website or find us on Facebook. Please join us again this year as we circle for the seventh time to bless others in the hospital on Christmas Eve and know that we are joined by heavenly hosts and that we are really making a difference, not only in our own hearts, but in the hearts of countless others.